Hey everyone, uh, welcome back uh, to the next tutorial. Uh, previously, uh, we have seen that how we can use Selenium and Salesforce to automate testing. And I have explained some basics of Selenium IDE. So you can go and you can refer this article and this is a YouTube video here. So uh, in this tutorial, what we are going to do is uh, we will be creating one workflow rule. Here I have created actually one workflow rule. This is the workflow rule I have one. This is my one of the demo org. And basically what I have done in this org is like I have created a workflow rule on object lead. And I am simply updating a field description. And the description field is nothing but I am adding the number of employees field plus number of location field. And I am checking that if this workflow field update is working properly or not with the help of Selenium script. Here is one example. So here is one of my record of lead. Recent lead. Okay, so not, not my Android. So here I have created some test on the recent items. So we can go here and we can see that number of employees are eight number of locations are eight and i'm simply updating a description field by adding these two fields very simple let's see how we can create a selenium script for this simple testing as discussed previously we need a firefox here and i have already installed the selenium ide so let's start working on it directly this is already in recording mode as you can see this red button is already clicked so i will simply go and I will navigate to salesforce.com and then my username is already here if you want you can enter username I am simply going to enter my password so here is my password so whatever I am uh, whatever steps I am doing uh, at the back selenium is recording all my steps so I am successfully logged in. Now I am clicking on the plus button here. So I click on plus button, all tabs. Then I am going to leads. Then I am creating a new record. I will create a demo part two. Company name CTS. And then what I am seeing here is like number of location, let's say three and number of employees let's say four so the total addition of three plus four should be seven in the description field so i'm saving it and if you can see here seven is already here so let's see uh, how our script goes so at the back end everything was recorded here so first of all let's save this script so i am saving this script saying demo to dot html because all the selenium scripts are basically saved as html file here so first of all let's see how all this goes so i'm logging out here and let's try to execute a script now the same problem we have faced in the previous demo selenium is not able to identify this plus button maybe because randomly uh, Rendering of this component is happening by Ajax or these elements are not available when the DOM, DOM was prepared. So the simplest solution we have here is like uh, we will introduce one more command here. So I will say introduce a new command and we will say we have to wait until element is present for element present. Now for which element we need to present so we need to select that element so go here and you can see at the background here I clicked on this element so it's trying to identify there are so many options available here most of the time I select X path which introduce which has the ID so I am saying here wait till this plus button is available and that's it let's save the test case again and let's try to okay before going ahead 
let's go back here on demo 2 now what i want to do okay so let's assume that our test script is going to execute well uh i want to log out uh this one so remove the logout action so we are already here now we want i want to assert something okay let's remove this one also uh, this step accidentally it uh, it recorded my logout activity also so i just simply want to remove my logout activity so what basically i want to do i want to assert that this description field really contains seven or not and that's very simple here i will simply say assert for uh, assert text i will say check if this text is present or not i will go here on this field i will select again i have so many options available here most of the time i choose xpath relative which contains id and then i am saying assert this value with value 7 so if this description field have a value 7 that means my workflow rule update is working properly so let's save it sorry for the background noise background noise here so let's log out again let's test how our script goes here so i am going again at background background you can see it is executing everything here it went there so now you can see script is in green color that means that means everything is executed properly so let's try to fail this script that means our workflow rule is running properly let's say on the production deployment or after some time someone disables that workflow rule so I'm simply going to create a workflow section and simply I'm going to deactivate this workflow. Now let's see how script works. So I'm going to log out now. Let's say one of the test cases is testing a workflow rule. Now it is going back again. It is logging to my system. It clicked on plus button. Then now it click on the new button it entered some value and after saving everything now if you can see here log file actual value is blank description has a blank and it is not matching with value 7 that means whatever workflow we have created that workflow is not working properly so thank you very much friends watching for this please subscribe to this channel and i would love your feedback thank you